welcome to this week's episode of Level Up. As always, I'm Kenley Hoover. How the hell did you manage to convince me to let you do Blaze Blue for this episode? And he's Brandon Gannicott. You didn't answer my question. This week, we decided to devote an entire episode to the number one fighting game, Blaze Blue. We decided. <laughs> you mean, you decided. In tribute to this amazing fighting game, we had a little tournament among the Level Up staff here. <laughs> you call that atrocity a tournament? That sir was gang rape. Of course. I'll also have a review for you and some news on the upcoming sequel, Continuum Shift. So sit back and enjoy this very special Blaze Blue themed episode. Why the hell are you ignoring me? I'm just high on Blaze Blue. <laughs> Blaze Blue is a highly stylish 2D fighting game developed by Arc System Works that features various modes of play that really all just boil down to the, the core concept of kicking the crap out of the other person so their life bar reaches zero. You have a classic arcade mode, online and offline versus mode, a story mode, and a maddeningly difficult score attack mode. The story of Blaze Blue is completely incomprehensible. I mean, it would take like the brightest minds of our generation to be able to figure that one out. And in order to get 100% completion for each story, you'll have to play through each character multiple times. Of course, a fighting game's real merit really just comes down to the simplest of modes, versus. Blaze Blue is easily played offline with friends, but also, but also offers a rich online brawling experience over Xbox Live or PlayStation Network. A handy little feature that Blaze Blue comes with is Replay Theater, which lets players save any online matches they've been in to view later. Matches are saved in their entirety, so it's really helpful for people who want to look back on their matches and learn from their mistakes. Blaze Blue features 12 fighters, each with their own specific set of moves, combos, and specials. Every character has a specific drive, or ability, that is triggered with the A button. For example, Ragna's drive is called Soul Eater, which lets him drain the life, po life force of opponents and refill his own by a smidgen. Every character also has special moves called Distortion Drives, and a cinematic finisher called an Astral Finish. Astral Finishes are a guaranteed KO, if they hit. Thankfully, they can only be used when certain conditions have been met. A few of the characters feel unbalanced, to tell you the truth, but um, ultimately every character is beatable. Some will just take a little more effort and focus than others. All the characters are very well fleshed out with appropriate backstory and voice acting, which makes all the characters feel original, and they're all very likable. Blaze Blue is one hell of a fighting game. It's a blast to play with with friends offline. I'd say my biggest gripe though with Blaze Blue is the absurdity of the story's plot, and the lack of a lobby system with online play. And because fighting games have a relatively lower fan base than most console fare, you may be hard pressed to find people to play with offline. Especially if you like memorizing combos and mercilessly beating your opponents into the ground. However, you can always find someone to play with online. Just remember that these people also like to memorize combos and mercilessly beat their opponents into the ground. And chances are they're probably better than you at it. So, good luck. You're going to need it. And now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Oh god, no. Here's the footage of our Interstaff Blaze Blue tournament. It was not a tournament. That was a massacre. That was complete crap. What a farce.
Well, that was good fun, wasn't it? You go watch me get the crap kicked out of me by a bobblehead fun. Yeah, actually. Yeah, look, I don't understand how that bobblehead was even able to play the game. Ah, oh, that's not really important now, is it? He beat you fair and square. He doesn't even have opposable thumbs. Now then, for fans of Blaze Blue, a sequel entitled <laughs> Blaze Blue Continuum Shift is scheduled for release on July 20th of this year. It will come with four new characters, new moves for every existing character, and some new stages for battle. I can't wait! I sure can. Well, that's all for this week. Tune in next week when we... Ah, go ahead. Level up! What? what? You... You don't have hands! You can't be doing this! <laughs>